Hello everybody, my name is Spencer, and today we are going through another episode of How to Make a Map. This is episode number three. If you haven't seen the previous parts, please go do that because we are kind of moving along at a steady pace. And again, I'm still kind of sick, so I'm sorry if I sound a little bit nasally and uh, gross. Anywho, so in this episode, we're going to kind of learn about how to import objects from other maps. And uh, I actually have some templates um, that I'm going to show you right now. So if you go to the files right here. Um, well, you're not gonna have the files. Um, well, you will have the files down. There'll be like a link in the description. Um, if you watched the first episode, you'll know that I put a link down in the description um, for all these, um, for like the Blender export temp template and then the uh, actual template map. But I added a few extra things. So this is, we have a grid thing, we have roads, we have rocks, and then we have rocks too. So these are the things that we're gonna be importing today. I got these from uh, various maps. I think I got grid from grid map too. Um, I got roads from I don't even know where uh, and then rock, um, this one's this rock is from East Coast USA and then this rock is from uh, I think so without further ado let's get started so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to your mods um, which is uh, the C drive users your your name after add a local BMG drive and then point 24 also I forgot to mention in the first video if you can't find app data um, you're gonna need to check off so if I go actually if I just remove this um, just go to app data oh no wait here we go there it is if you go to where is it view, view and then you don't see app data so say you find you see there's nothing here you gotta go to view and then hidden items and you should find it uh sorry for not specifying that in the first video i'll probably put like a little comment down below on that first one or something just to let you know because some people might be confused on that anyways back to the mods. so once you're at your mods page um or whatever you wherever you put your well, map that you're using uh, double click to open it with Win WinRAR, you can close out of that, that's just the, the thing, I pull this, I have two screens, so if you notice something going over there, then, I mean, you won't see it, but you know what I mean. Alright, so, if you have this open, you're gonna go to the levels, test map, and then art, so this is where all the art stuff is, as, as I was explaining in previous, previous episodes, and, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go to importing the grid first. So, if we open this up, we can see that has a lot of different, uh, sort of, grid map stuff this is from grid map 2 so you get a lot more than you do with grid map 1 stuff um, but I'm gonna keep both because they are quite nice to have so if I open the main.materials.json file in here you'll see that it goes to template map because that's the original map that I have had it for which is template map uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna uh, select the levels template map and we're just gonna replace that name with our map name so I paste that there and then we're gonna put in test map which is the name that I have set and then we're gonna press replace all and it should just go to from levels, test map, art, shapes, grid, and then to everything else. So if we go to levels, levels, test map, test map, art, art, shapes, shapes, and then we can paste the grid in here just to make sure it is fitting. So we can control save that. We can exit out of that. And then we can just drag this into here because this is, this is the directory for it. And uh, yeah, so we'll just paste it in there, press OK, wait for it to load. Should take a bit because these are pretty big files. All right, once that's in, we can move on to the next one. So we got roads. This is going to be sort of our roads that we can use and uh, just so we can actually use our road ed editor. So we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to select this. We're going to press Control F and we're going to go to replace. And then I already have it set because it just it was from the previous one. So we can just keep that and then replace all there. And we can look at the, the directory. So that goes levels, test map, art, and then roads. So if I control save that, exit out of here. So this said, actually I need to go back in. This said levels, test map, art. So we're just gonna go into the art section. Uh, this, wait, back up there. Uh, art through here. And then we're just gonna paste in here because that's where the directory for it is. So if I back out of that, paste this in here, like that. And now we're done with roads. Now we're gonna move on to rocks. It's the exact same process. And we're just gonna continue this through the rest. So I'm gonna actually speed up, uh, do a little time lapse of me doing this. And I will be back once I do that. All right, and we are done. So now we can actually get in BMG and see if this is working. All right, and we are in. So if we just, you know, move out of there, press J to pause physics so we don't actually, you know, hear the sounds. Then press F11 to open up the world editor again. And let me move the material editor because I normally have it off to the side, but for the video, I need it in there. 
Anyway, so in the last episode, we did this little thing. This is sort of just a suspension area. Um, I, might, I might do a little bit more just because it's kind of small, but that'll be for future. Um, but for right now, we're just going to see if our objects are working. And if they don't have materials, don't be scared. Uh, we can always fix that in the material editor, and I'll probably go over that today too. So let's go to grid. And now we have all our grid stuff. So if I just pull something out like this, this should have a texture. And it does. Lovely. It does have a texture. That is, that is very nice. Whoa, that is... Why is that so laggy? I apologize. I don't know why that's so laggy. Um, give it a second, maybe. Okay. Wow, that, that was weird. I, th I think it's fixed. That was like really laggy for some reason. Anyway, so we got our thing in. But as you can see, there's no PBR to it because it does not actually. Or maybe it's already. Is it automatically PBR? No, it isn't. So you're gonna have to change that over to PBR because obviously these aren't autom automatic. Oh no, they are. Never mind. I lied to you guys. Sorry. Yeah, no, they're, they are automatically PBR. Some of them don't have PBR, but um, majority of them would. So don't worry about that. I uh, kind of lied about that. Didn't know about that, anyways. Uh, so we can kind of just pull out things. We have like a pipe section thing. This is all from grid map uh, too. And uh, we can use a lot of things from it. And it's kind of nice. So you have like a, you know, cube, very big cube. Let's just have a cube. Let's have a very big cube next to this thing right here. So I can just put it right here. There we go. Make sure this fits. And now we have a cube. And if we want, we can always add another cube by duplicating it and moving it down a little bit. And we have a two cubes. It is very beautiful. Look at these two cubes right here. I'll just move this in like this just to give it a little more dimension and there we go now we have two cubes we just have a little uh cube side and if we wanted to we could duplicate it over to the other side give it like a actual foundation kind of thing like so put that let's show a little bit through there and uh, there we go now we got little two foundation things just so we can go through it and if we wanted to we could actually add like a separate piece on the top so let's find a piece for that if we can let's crawl oh look at this we have more little um test things that we can use like uh for suspension stuff oh this will work perfect look at that that's exactly what i wanted so if i just move this over here like this and then i can move this over like that there we go and if i just make sure this is actually you know correct like so move this over a little bit move it down just to make sure it's flush that is not flush at all and there we go. And then I move this to make sure it's actually in place like that. And now we can just duplicate this over. And as you can see, it doesn't really fit. So we can always just move or we can always just select both of these or all these different things and move them over a little bit um, like, oh, we can't do that actually because that won't fit. Never mind. Maybe. Oh, no, I'll, move, I'll just move this because then hold up like that. And then I'll select these. And now we can move this over so it's a little bit like that there we go perfect so you can actually drive if you want to go get around the suspension stuff you can drive around it that's kind of smart so now we have a little area up there and we kind of want to maybe we want an area up actually there so maybe we'll do like a little i don't know like a little staircase going up there that doesn't have any stairs because cars can't drive on stairs what's this one it's a curve we do a little curve what is this i have no idea probably has a reason for it but i'm not entirely sure so I added this little thing right here. Well, it's not actually little, it's pretty big. I'm gonna make sure this is flush to that. So you can kind of go out there like that. And I think that's gonna look kind of cool. And uh, we can do one on the other side too. Let me make sure this is flush though because that's gonna have the same issue. This right over here like that. So it's gonna be like on the side right here, right there. I'm gonna move this down a little bit like so. And there we go, now we have a little area. So let me do let me duplicate this on the other side just so it kind of looks more uniform like that. I mean, how many? So there was four on that. So let me just make sure that's even like that. There we go. Perfect. So now we got a little suspension area that you can do if you want. And uh, I do want to add a ramp going up here just so we can get up there. All right. Actually, as for right now, I'm just going to leave this alone because it's, I, this is just wanting to show off the grid section. Um, also, part of the series is going to be me actually trying to make a map um, so you can actually play it afterwards. And I'll, have a, I'll probably have this for free because obviously this is a free series on YouTube. So I'll just release the map for free. Um, might be on my Patreon for free, or I'll just release it to the repository. Anywho, let's see if the rocks are working. So if we go to the rocks, and we can just drag in a rock, and they are, look at that! And, uh, yeah, so we have a little rocks that we can use. Those are actually really small. But these ones are a little bigger, so if we want to add, like, if we want to add, like, suspension areas, or things for off-roading stuff, we can always do that. And then as for rocks too, a little bit of lag. Alright, there we go, no lag. I think it lags out when you open, like, a new thing for the first time. And I think that's why grid was lagging so much is because there was so much in grid. So if you get a lot of lag like that, don't worry about that. It should go away after a little bit. But if it's big, if it's a bigger file, um, like the amount of things in the file itself, then you might want to wait a little bit longer. 
all right back to what we were doing so let's actually see if the utah stuff is working so if we drag that in it is and it looks beautiful uh, let's actually test if seeing any other ones work like the what is a huge rock oh it is not so we can actually fix that right now so what you're gonna want to do is you're just gonna want to keep on that and as you can see it has no material like literally no material it says no material in a weird rock formation because it's trying to apply it to it and it just looks kind of deformed so what we can do is we can go to new material and we're gonna name it utah rock base one um you can name this whatever you want but i'm gonna name it that and then you're gonna press pick from tss static and then you're just gonna select that and it said should say huge rock and then you're gonna press create and now you have a material so if i press save and then go to dynamic and maybe delete this and then drag it back in i'm not really sure if it's actually gonna show up yes it does beautiful so now say we change the color or something like that it will update regularly to it so i actually don't want to delete that so let's make this material a little bit bigger and then i'll go over sort of the basics of the material editor itself so you see this little utah rock face thing that's the material that we just made and that's sort of the actual material that you can edit this internal material right here, which is called Huge Rock, this is the Map 2 texture. And this is an internal thing that when you export your model from Blender or wherever you're exporting it from, this is sort of the internal material name that it has. And you can kind of change that when you're editing the actual day file itself. But I'll get into that in the future. But moving on from that, so now we have PBR. We're actually going to change that to PBR because I love me some PBR. And then we're just going to go down, down to the first base basic properties. And if that's already closed, just open, make sure it's open. Um, this is all in layer 1. So we're going to go to base color texture or base color map and you're going to go down to find actually if this is not here uh, go to where your levels is and then go to where is it the test map and then art shapes rocks or not not rocks rocks two sorry because that's the utah rocks and then now we're going to look for what we want which i think is this one and no it is not i don't know if we actually have a texture in here for this if we do it will work but if we don't I don't know if we can make it work. We can try though. I don't think we do because none of these are actually making sense for the model itself. Like this one's not making sense at all. So I don't think this one actually has a texture. This is kind of a bad example of this, but you do get the idea where you would just sort of paste a texture on here. So say we pasted that texture and then we would grab the normal map for this texture and then we place the normal map on there. And then that's sort of how that would work. But obviously this one doesn't have anything. So we're just gonna remove these because that doesn't make any sense. In the future, I may actually fix this, but for right now, we're just going to save that to that because we can always edit it, edit this texture in the future. Actually, one last thing I do want to try is if we go to rocks one or just rocks, we can find this. No, it doesn't work either. Okay, well, maybe there's just a rock texture in here at all. No, there is not. Okay, so we cannot do any of that. Was we'll just trying. Let's see if the miscellaneous has anything we can kind of put on it. We can make it look like a grid. That looks awful. Make it look like rocky dirt also awful grass oh no let's see if grid has anything to offer us like uh this you know that actually doesn't look too bad that kind of looks like a testing thing let me make that have a little more detail because obviously for this base color map this is like the actual initial texture map that you have from blender when you export and whatever scale you set it to it will keep it but a way to sort of mitigate this is if you go down to the base detail map so the base detail map is something you can actually change and add a scale to it so say if we were to add that same texture wherever that would be right here now we have actual scale to it and as you can see it is a little bit brighter how we can fix that is if we or mitigate it is if we go to this little color thing on the base texture map if we go to the color thing and we just drag it down about halfway or about quarter way like that and now we get the be about the same uh, color value as that so now we can change the scale of it so say we want that to be 10 now we get a higher scale like that this is sort of for detail mainly so say we actually had another one like this so we now we have the two details connected so we have that first one which is sort of the color map for it and then the detail is just the extra detail that would be shown and if i remove this then you wouldn't have the detail there but if you add it back then you have the detail and it looks decent and it can be used for a lot of different things. And it actually doesn't look too bad. I might actually keep this because this kind of just looks like a giant rock. And then you can always always mess around with the metallic setting. So if I wanted to be a little more metallic, you can add a metallic to it. You can also make it a little more rough. So it's like very, very shiny for some reason. Uh, let's actually add a normal map here. So if we had maybe a dirt normal map, that actually doesn't look too bad. Kind of like that. Is that the same one as what I had? Yeah, it is actually. So that's why that, that is working because it is the same. Make, make sure this is the same texture. But yeah, as you can see, this is the same texture. And then the detail mineral map, what do we use for the detail? We used dirt detail, uh, so we need to find the detail map for that. 
Now, I actually think this is the exact same thing as this. This is just for detail. So we can actually add the same normal map for that. And now we have a full, beautiful texture like that. That actually looks really good. I am impressed by that. I wasn't expecting it to look that good. So now we kind of made our own custom little thing. As, as you can see, I named it Utah Rock Face 1. This isn't really Utah Rock anymore. This looks more like a East Coast USA rock, but we made our own rock. And I'm, I'm curious if maybe, no, nope, that doesn't apply that. And does these, yeah, these apply to both of these. So now we have two big rocks that we can use if we wanted to make like caves or whatever we want to make. So that's sort of the introduction to the to the actual material. There's a lot more to go through, but I will go over that in future videos as it is pretty complicated. There's a lot of settings you can mess around with, and we'll get into that when we're actually making our own models. And I'll go into like full depth of what that would be. So I think for the remainder of this episode, I'm actually gonna just gonna work on the map itself, and uh, I'll do like a little time lapse because I enjoyed doing the time lapse, and it was pretty fun to do. So I'll meet you back when that's done. All right, so I'm actually back. I was going to do a lot more. Um, I'm obviously still going to do a lot more. I just wanted to explain how to actually change your texture because I kind of want this to be the same texture as this because this is, I couldn't find a very similar piece to this in the actual grid thing like this. There probably is, but I, I don't really feel like looking for it. So I'm going to just use these and I want to just change this texture because obviously this texture was good, but I kind of want to blend in with this um, just so it makes a little more sense. So I'm actually going to change this to the grid texture. So if we go to shapes and then grid, we can go down and then try to find this same texture. I think this is it right here. Yep. And now we can actually change the scale of it. So it actually can make sense. So we can make that one that is way too big. So let's set that to 0.1 maybe. That is almost there. I think that's pretty close. I think, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll just do like 1.5. Like so. That's very close. I think that's getting there. Maybe 16. We're going to want to do small increments because I do want this to be accurate. And uh, then no, I think we're going to want to go a bit smaller. So maybe like 12. I'm going to fiddle with this until we get this right. All right. So I think I've gotten it. It's a little bit too bright though. So I'm actually going to lower the brightness of this to make sure it fits in. And uh, as you can see, it is a lot more reflective than the other one. So I do want to fix that by making it like not reflective. Um, I'm also going to add the rough, the same roughness map. So where was the ones? Yeah, grid. And then I went down and then it should be somewhere around here. Here it is. And then that should be it. So if we move this down to light, it should have the exact same specularness as that. And it does. It is a little bit different though, as the scale of the texture is very small. So you kind of get that weird like thing. I'm going to change that to something else then because I don't really like that. All right, I've decided to change it to the Metal Soft 2 in my own textures because I couldn't really find a texture that worked with that. So, oh, whoopsies, wait, I messed that up. There we go. Wait, nope. Is that back to how it was? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So now we're just going to save the texture and now we are back in business. So I'm going to finish the time lapse and I'll be back with you and I'm done with that. All right, and we're back from the time lapse. So what I was able to do is just add some uh, sort of rock crawling areas. You can do some testing. And then I also added these little ways to get up and then this little half ramp thing that you can sort of get up from. And it's kind of cool. But yeah, there is one more thing I do want to show you before I go though, because the episode is almost over, is I want to show how to actually import things from other maps, because obviously I just gave you a template that you can work off and the downloads can be in the description. But if say you wanted to add some other things that like aren't, that I didn't do in this tutorial. Well, um, let me just control save that if I'm going to just minus out of that. And the way to do that is if you go to steam or beam and G is, and then you go to your library and then you go down to uh, beam and G and then go to manage and then go to browse local files and then you go to content and you go levels. And then here, this is where all the maps are that you can use. And so say you want something from Utah again, we go into Utah. Where is that? Oh, sorry. It's on my other desktop. So if we go to levels, Utah art, and then you have all this stuff that you can take take from. So if, say I go to shapes and then I go to buildings, you can drag out buildings, let that load. Buildings is a very big file. Um, so if I go into buildings, and then you can do the exact same thing. You just go into the materials that JSON file, whatever that would be, material, there it is. Um, and then you go and do that thing. So you just select the levels, control F, replace, and then you do the exact same thing. I'm not gonna actually add this because it is a lot. This is like, how big is this? 
uh, 626 megabytes. Um, yeah, no, we're not gonna add that because that's a lot of data, but you get the point. You can kind of do that with everything you want, um, or anything you want from other maps, or you can make your own stuff, but we will get into that in future videos on how to actually make your own models and import them into BeamNG. But yeah, this will do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me go back into BeamNG, and I'll check the next one. Also, don't forget to like the video and uh, subscribe. So, see you in the next one, guys. Bye.